Now coming down to number three, we have Shatter Blast. Now everyone in the community hates this one. I don't understand why. It's a very useful ammo mod when you break it down. I mean, when you initially use it, it does explosive damage upon enemy zombies and it can actually break off all their armor. So if you're going up in the higher rounds when it comes to Outbreak or just a normal zombies game and you're facing off against these heavies or these armored zombies or you're getting the mangoes and, or anything like that, it actually rips off their armor almost completely off being able to expose them and actually be able to kill them much easier. Looking at it at tier 1, it's not that useful. It only does extra damage to the armor. But we look at it at tier 5, and at tier 5 it instantly shatters normal zombie armor. And the explosion sizes are doubled. It does extra damage to the zombies surrounding the explosions. And you have 3 additional charges when you do get to tier 5. Now, I think the most useful thing about this as well is, is the most effective against crazy soldats and manglers. Manglers, obviously, because they are covered in armor and you can shatter it off almost instantly. And crazy soldats is actually the weakness to the crazy soldat. So if you equip this and you run into a crazy soldat, you're doing good. I think it does actually double damage, whereas the other two I talked about in the list only do 1.5 times as much damage. So it is an incredible extra ammo mod to have. Uh, it's not something I'm going to be equipping when it comes to my two guns. Maybe once they introduce Mule Kick, maybe I'll equip it onto my third gun just so I can counter off those uh, crazy soldats. But anyway, it, it's not as bad as people say. It really isn't. Uh, I find this very useful in certain instances. But when it comes to the next two, I find these much more useful. And that's why I'm ranking this down at number three. Now we're getting to the good ones, and coming down at number two, I hate doing this because it's my favorite, but I had to say it's Brain Rot, aka Turn from Black Ops 3, whatever you want to call it. In Cold War, they made this so useful compared to what it was in Black Ops 3. Because I remember getting Turn on Black Ops 3 and getting rid of it instantly, and now I actively equip this on my second weapon whenever I play Zombies. If you guys don't know what Brain Rot is, is if you shoot a zombie and you don't kill it with that one shot, there's a chance that the zombie can actually turn onto your side and start attacking the other zombies around you. So it's very useful in my opinion. I think that, you know, you shoot a zombie, it can actually start doing the damage for you, especially if your guns aren't doing that much damage in the first place. So if you have something like a bullfrog and you're using Brain Rot on it, it is extremely useful in my opinion. I think that it is so much fun to pull out an SMG, shoot a zombie, and have it do all the work for you. However, I would not be ranking Brain Rot this high if it wasn't for the tier tree. Whenever you Brain Rot a zombie, or as you go up in tiers, uh, it can actually explode doing toxic damage to the zombies near it. Uh, the duration of the turn zombie increases and probably my favorite part about it is you can turn special zombies to your side and it is insane what that means like you're gonna see right here I'm gonna shoot this mimic and it's gonna turn and it's gonna fight for me it is incredible like being able to have some of the stronger zombies on your side and have them fight for you is actually insane and also like I said with uh, Cryo Freeze and the Hellhounds, it does double damage to the most annoying boss in the game besides the Tempest, and that is the Mimics. Oh my god, I hate the Mimics. They're all over the place. There's too many of them on the map. They're just so annoying to deal with, and the fact that this does double damage to them. Even if you don't turn them, it does double damage whenever you're shooting them with a gun that has this. It is insane. And being able to wipe out these boss zombies that are so frequent, much more frequent than they should be. I, I love this. That's why I'm ranking this at number two. I almost forgot, for all you dog lovers out there, you can turn a dog in this game, then pet it, and get 50 points for petting it. I love this animal mod so much. It is probably the best thing to ever touch zombies, but it pales in comparison to the number one spot, Deadwire. Deadwire is just so overpowered. You're going to see how overpowered it is in a second. Essentially what it's supposed to do is just stun the zombie that you shoot and have it do extra damage in a little area that it encompasses. 
Uh, it's tier one is pretty bad, but once you get up to tier five, it's truly incredible. Look at this. I take out this entire horde with just one shot of a gun with dead wire. It's truly incredible. Like, I don't know how to put this in words, how overpowered this really is. The best part about this is the cooldown is so short. It cools down in 15 seconds without elemental pop. So it cools down in 12 seconds with elemental pop. It's really insane how you can wipe out hordes with a single shot of a gun every 12 seconds. And like I, You don't see that with anything else. When it came to brain rot, yeah, it was extremely helpful when you were, whenever you were able to turn a special zombie. But they would only stay alive for maybe a couple extra seconds and then they would just instantly die. They might kill a couple or two zombies. But when it came to Deadwire, you would be able to shoot a special zombie and kill all the other zombies around you while still be able to unload all your bullets into the special zombie while they're stunned. It's truly incredible, really. However, in order for this to be extremely effective, you do need to put this up to tier 5. Before tier 5, this isn't as good as it really is, but once you get to tier 5, it's just overpowered. Of course, it's still useful before that. Tier 3 is pretty useful, though you can't stun special zombies and you don't get that arc between 5 other zombies. But once you get to tier 5, oh my god, shooting this into a crowd, it instantly annihilates them. It's truly incredible. And that is why it has to be number one. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Of course, this is all based off my opinion. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys like this video and this channel. Follow my Twitter for more notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one.